Welcome to day 41 of the 90 Day Novel Challenge. My name is Brad Pawkett, and today I have a really simple question for you. Are you a one percenter? So, you know, we're about 20,000 words into this challenge now, and I have terrible news, actually, and that's that there are literally millions of 20,000 word manuscripts sitting on computer hard drives and in desk drawers all around America. There are millions of one-third finished stories that somebody started and they got excited and they loved it for a while and then they put it aside intending to come back and never did. In fact, it prob- that story probably still lives rent-free in their head as this thing that they're going to come back to someday. But statistically, the odds are stacked against them. But that doesn't have to be the case for your story because you are a one percenter. You are the type of person that overcomes and triumphs. And here's how you do that. You put your butt in the seat. You choose to have a finished manuscript today and every day until it's finished by continuing to show up, put your butt in the seat and get words on the page. And that's exactly what you're going to do. You know, if we're honest, you're not going to win this challenge and have a complete manuscript where so many millions of people have failed, you're not going to win that because you're a better writer. You're not going to win it because you're a better person or because you're smarter or any of these things, as true as that might be. The only thing that I've observed that makes a difference in whether you succeed or fail in writing a novel is your ability to get your butt in the seat day after day after day. This week, you put in six good days and you made good progress on your manuscript, next week, you're going to do the exact same thing. And again, and again, and again, until you can write the end. And right then, at that moment, you are going to be among the top 1% of writers. And that's not even an exaggeration. But you're going to be the 1% because you insist on showing up. You are tenacious, stubborn even, about getting your butt in the seat even if you have to stare at a blinking cursor on a blank page and will yourself to write instructions to do the laundry until something better comes out. You know, I compare writing to exercise a lot because they're actually really similar enterprises. Just like exercise, you know, you get a good exercise routine going for a few weeks and then you say, I'm just going to take one day off. But then what happens? That one day turns into two which turns into a week, it's just a break, which turns into a month, which turns into six months. And then you look at your bank account balance and see that you're still paying for a gym membership and finally cancel it. And you're in the same shape that you've always been in. And that's the exact same fate that awaits writers when we give an inch in that discipline. So continue to exercise that discipline. You choose if you're going to have a finished manuscript today and you choose it next week each day when you decide to sit down and do the hard work, whether you want to do it or not. So don't be discouraged. You are in the exact same position as every successful novelist before you. Everyone who has ever written a novel sat looking at 20,000 words asking questions like, couldn't I just take one day off? How badly do I want to do this? Was this even a good idea? Every successful novelist has faced that barrier. And the ones that are successful are only so because they decided to show up. They decided, okay, one more day. Let's get my butt in the seat. So that's your assignment today. Be the one percenter. Be the one percenter who puts in one hour and 1,000 words today. And tomorrow is a rest day. So give it one more good day today, rest up, let your brain do its braining, let your body do its resting so that you're ready to put in another awesome six days next week and continue to push forward and make progress towards this goal. Until I see you then, happy writing and be blessed.